Hello, hello, and welcome to Ascended Stars. This is Ali Jade. And um, thank you for watching my channel. It's been, uh, it's been an interesting ride of August with the eclipse. I hope everyone's doing well. Much love to you. I am being, um, <laughs> I kind of want to say pushed, I don't know. It feels it feels odd, but I, I um I'm being kind of propelled, that's the word. I'm sorry, it's it's Mercury retrograde, so bear with me. But um to do a full moon reading. Which I love astrology, but I don't oh I feel like you know this the tarot and doing a reading and so you know this is they're telling me it's like you know for certain people only i believe it's for my sensitives okay um pisces is about being sensitive so um this is very impromptu and i also have to let you know well the disclaimer is that i'm in mercury retrograde like everyone else but um i get i have a little bit of uh dyslexia so it happens even more when I'm under retrograde and um, another thing is I hate to tell you but I'm gonna be late on my readings <laughs> um, it's the first already so I am already late but I'm gonna be you know late so just be aware of that I am being um, kind of guided I feel more towards the six to get them out because um, that's the fifth the the planets go direct mercury goes direct a lot of things happening on the fifth but i i will cover this on my um well i better cover it now because if that's the time mars is moving into virgo which is going to propel us a lot more into being um clear-headed because virgo is going to be direct jupiter exits shadow actually because it's been in the shadow of the retrograde of libra and um, Mercury is going to move direct. So these are wonderful, wonderful energies. Mind you, we have Uranus that's retrograde in the sign of Aries. Saturn just moved direct. And um, I'm going to, well, let's just, the other retrograde is Neptune and Pisces, Chiron and Pisces, Pluto and Capricorn. And, you know, Neptune and Chiron and Pisces is causing havoc. That's all this water energy that we're having with the floods, emo uh, emotional floods. But um, I got a download about, uh, on the 26th, I got a download about Saturn moving direct. So I'm gonna just read you what I have on this download. Saturn in Sag, which is fire, is a foundational energy and it's propelling the masculine that their strength is in their ability to stand for something. Because um, Sagittarius is about beliefs, our belief systems so this may cause them to look at their partner and look at the stability and potential for growth they have in that union this is serving to bring it into a more concrete place earth grounding because we're now entering a lot of earth energy and we've already entered into Virgo energy um, and if it is based on a strong foundation if the union is based on a strong foundation it will continue if not if it's not based on a strong foundation and it's based on things such as false truths, ulterior motives, and a lack of independence, such as um, this is the back going back to Uranus and Aries, Leo and the North Node, um, then some relationships may not survive this energy. Others, it may serve to strengthen the union. So that truly depends on the inner workings of what each individual has done whether masculine or feminine and the clarity that they have from doing all this work on themselves this energy strongly calls to be grounded and what i said is to be manhandled and stabilized into a grounded place so this is the download i got okay um another another thing i want to tell you please 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 this is super important and i i haven't seen anybody touch upon it um you know virgo is about truth and we will tell you the truth we're sticklers about perfection so 
because of that character trait, we will go ahead, you know, it just until it drives us mad, we will go ahead and either do it ourselves or um, be honest with you. And all this, all this stuff that's been happening and all the, all the emotions and everything, let's put that aside, okay? Because the most important thing is truth, right? And another thing that people are not mentioning at all, and I, I have to say it now, is um, intention, okay? Intention is, is a very important um, energy that I'm feeling. Two things are going to happen. People's true intentions are going to come out, are going to be revealed. And another thing, if, if you are living by ulterior motives and you don't have the right intention, things are going to just... <laughs> Let me just say it's not going to be a good ending. Okay, It's not going to have a good conclusion. I'm going to leave it at that. So this reading is um, a spiritual soul session regarding the Pisces full moon on September 6th. That was really not easy for me to say for some reason, <laughs> but um, there's so very few sensitive, you know, very few people. I'm speaking to my sensitives that re live really live with clear intentions and really live from their heart, um, really vibrate with love. Most of the people who have learned, who have tried to come from their heart, have been murdered. <laughs> Um, and I was, dare say, J.F. Kennedy, he tried to bring, you know, government, Martin Luther King, and Princess Diana. I just saw a documentary on how she was trying to reveal truths about um, the hierarchy, the, the royalty. So, there's a lot of um, stigma. that comes with being someone who is honest and truthful and brave enough. But I dare say it's it's revolt time, but we all have to be smart about it as well. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and see what the energies are for what I have as a message uh, regarding a full moon. Okay, right off the bat, I, I gather there's a lot of fear of moving and taking action, but the burden is so heavy that, um, I, I, you know, it comes to a place where you finally will. The pain, th this Pisces full moon is the accumulation of a lot of pain. A lot of people are feeling a lot of pain um, emotionally, and this will be like the... Um, climactic point it's a 10 two tens here okay then uh the 10 of, of rods meaning that you know we have well, hold on we have two endings and one beginning the ace the ace of, of wands okay that's what came out me first um the the middle is coming here clearer the middle, which which is basically really the whole kind of vibe of the, of a reading here, um, the two of wands, seven of pentacles, queen of pentacles in the middle, and ideally we have to leave one love behind. Who we thought the world of. And we're going to um, work hard to manifest something with someone who's, you know, embodying the earth qualities. Someone who's grounded, someone who is capable of being independent, but they're very lo loving and nurturing and caring and supportive. Okay. Many of us are going to leave partners, perhaps is what I'm feeling that um, we're going to gravitate towards partners who support 
us. And um, I feel like they're gonna, you guys are gonna work together. Someone who, so, who, okay, someone who we're gonna leave. Partners are gonna leave. Someone. Um, I think it's all kind of in the works, but um, let's see if you can you see it. The uh, two of wands. He's got his back to one, and he's holding the world in his hands, and he's holding a wand. Now that represents to me, and he's looking at the past. So he's gonna he's thinking of leaving someone who really does mean the world, and it doesn't mean that this person is bad or any. You know, it could be for some, but. Um, it's, it's the end of the pain there. There, this is stepping into a new cycle. Okay. Cause it's a 10 and leaving that person. And, you, and I do feel like you think the world of this person, I do feel like, wow, you know, I, I think the world of this person, but you need someone who supports you in your value system, in your beliefs and who's going to nurture you. And you feel, um, more connected to this is the this is the energy of the queen of pentacles it doesn't have to be an, uh, an earth sign okay i'm just telling you this is the qualities of this person that you feel towards them and i see the um seven of pentacles another earth element and i feel that even though this image is of one individual working hard and getting lost in this work that they love to do i feel that that um well there is a lot of work to do <laughs> there's a lot of work to do but um it it's it's it comes in as this work wants to be done together okay it's kind of coming in like a love reading but it just somehow this is the energy i'm picking up this is some you know this is for my sensitives this is what i feel this is also um this person's looking into the future. So I feel that's why it is like uh, working together, working together, okay? Um, this new person that, this, can, this these energies can work both ways, okay, as well. Someone could be looking at whoever is watching the video, spying on them and looking at their social media and checking it, checking them out. Okay, um, checking them out, checking in the, because of the world here, the internet, and this means curiosity, inquisitiveness, um, could be an air sign I'm talking about, not necessarily though, they might carry the energy, um, but I do feel like there is spying going on, <laughs> spying of your mate, of your partner, of the one that you desire, of um the curiosity okay i do feel because we're going to have a pisces full moon so it's about emotions and you're going to get nostalgic and you're going to want to see what's going on with this person and you're going to be uh, uh you're going to be super curious is the energy okay now we have the nine of wants this is going to take a lot of effort okay i feel it's going to take a lot of like push like a lot of effort like i feel like <laughs> but i always say this with the nine of wands and it's just so odd but i you know it's like the last the final push the final push is the nine of wands this energy okay uh, yeah, I'm also getting, I'm also hearing, um, this person is who they are. Um, and it, it and I also heard it is what it is. So this, this individual from the past. I feel um, it does embody the characteristic of the nine of pentacles. 
but it doesn't mean they're an earth sign okay but it, it could possibly be capricorn taurus virgo um but they are who they are they're really grounded they're really someone who is um real who's <sighs> They don't they don't play around they don't pretend to be something they're not they're they just are okay and if they're really like an amazing person that's who they really are it's like you know if, if they're really attractive that's who they really are but in a way of of not like um boasting about it or or uh flaunting it they don't have much fiery quality to them is perhaps what i'm trying to say but in that could be like what they show the world you know but you might know them as someone really passionate and and they just really turn you on because when you are in private mode with them behind closed doors they really show you this um yang energy this you know they might even be the masculine in the relationship they might be the one who's like <laughs> you know just super sexy like super aggressive even okay um yeah that's i'm picking that energy up as well when i see this this lineup here and then we have this beautiful energy of the nine of pentacles i'm speaking to my sensitives i'm speaking to um I think I'm speaking to the, the unions that are not together. I really, I, I'm picking up this energy. And I feel like what is keeping the unions from not being together is the fact that you need to be more financially situated, but you also feel, need to feel secure. I feel like there's, um, you wanna be in this place, you wanna reach this place of, self-sufficiency of feeling good in your own skin of um feeling comfortable with your your own surroundings feeling comfortable with yourself i feel like this is the energy of what's holding you from moving into union into um 3d union i'm going to pick some cards on uh, the Ten of Swords and the Ten of Wands. We're gonna get more clarity on these. Okay, Spirit, please give us clarity on this um, ending of the pain. Ten of Swords, backstabbing energy. Please clarify what this means. <sighs> Some sudden information um, on either side of, you know, maybe the, maybe the, um, partnership they're with a karmic partner and there's going to be a breakdown of that situation for this could be the karmic part the the person who's in the karmic relationship sudden information sudden breakdown the tower energy misfortune um that would be the pain but this could also be for the one who is waiting or longing for this um reunion who's the awakened twin i guess they say this could be, um, this energy could be internet information, finding out stuff, or they reach out to try to contact you. And then this, it brings up all the pain, all the anguish, all the uh, memories, all the heartache um, from this contact. It just, it, it might um, relive rehash it's like opening a wound is what i get okay and um and since it's a piscean energy it's going to all come up to the you know forefront size yeah and you're going to be like oh 
like I have to deal with this. Like I'm, I was just feeling good and I was, you know, they kind of got you while you're doing your groove and you're doing fine. And then all of a sudden it just comes in some news, some flash, some internet thing, some social media could be through the social media. Um, past, this could be the, the, the retrograde energy at the finale, some past person coming in and um, rocking your world, rocking your world. And you are sighing because you're like, oh God, I have to gather my strength. And surprise <laughs> no, i'm kidding um yeah it's gonna it's gonna come as a surprise this is really what it's saying it's gonna this energy is gonna come as a surprise so with the pisces full moon the it's the end of the pain but something's gonna trigger the pain before it just it ends so we need to it's residual energy coming in okay that's that's what i'm gathering now let's see the ten of rods Please give us a guidance on the ten of wands. What's the meaning of this? Ten of wands. Oh, someone's desiring a reunion. That could be this contact information that they um, <laughs> they reconnect via the internet. They've been social media, the internet, um, texting, some kind of electronic thing going on here. And that could be what really upsets you. They seek a reunion. It, it's kind of a love hate because it's like, I've wanted this and I've been waiting for it, but I feel like a lot of the, the divine feminine is like done. I do feel like they're like, you know what? I just want to move on. I just, I don't want to deal with the past. I'd rather have a new twin. This might be my false twin. It's, they're karmic. They're never coming. I got to deal with that. Um, they are going to come, but they come with all their issues, with all their problems. They're only coming because they want me to, to uh, accommodate for them. They want my money. They want my time. They want my energy. They want something from you. Uh, you know, that's the energy. Yes, definitely. Okay, I just picked up on that one on the nail on the head right there. It's false. It's a it's a reunion because perhaps they're going through a hard time. They're having heartache with somebody else. They're they're karmic and they want like con consolation. And they want you to put value on this this um They want you to put value on this connection. This effort, this effort of 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 making the effort to try to more value than really what's worth of it that than what than what it's worth. And the advice is compassion i think we have to have compassion this is very true with the pisces full moon we must have more compassion on ourselves okay i also feel like this is we must value ourselves because when we value ourselves we're, we're more capable of having compassion for ourselves and for others so maybe this person's going to come and tell you they um some false things they might tell you something i feel like i'm looking at this look they might tell you they might tell you what you want to hear okay and um you're really going to have to use your judgment because pisces is very dreamy uh it's very capable of forgiving easily it, like they get advantage of and they, they become the poor me energy because they forgive so darn easily they don't have any um well, you, you got to do this if you want to come back, you know, or you got to you got to really see your consequences or, you know, I really want to express how much pain you you gave me. Um, they don't they just forgive. They don't um, hold that person accountable for the pain that was caused. And that that's and then that's why they become like, poor me, I'm such a victim. But it's because they're not able of expressing it. They're not able of communicating of, of um, you know, and it could just, this also could be that it just goes straight into um, sexualness. There's no, not even any words spoken and it's just sexual uh, expression. So 
Yeah, emotions will do that. You know, emotions will will rise and bubble and then express through sexuality. Yeah, of course. So I am going to um, continue because I'm being called to continue in another another spread um, for the next thirty days. But that's the energy that I've picked up on September six, Pisces, new full moon. Excuse me. Correction, full moon. There we go. Mercury retrograde. Pisces. Um, oh, I was called to use another deck. And this is, I remember I was sitting and I was like, oh, I'm going to use this deck. And this is my old, old deck. It's pretty beat up, but I love it. It's this one. Um, steel, my steel deck. Dick. Oh, look what just fell out. Knight of Cups. All right, let me, um, I haven't used this deck in a while, so just bear with me. I'm going to put a little sage smoke on it. Clear it. I'm sure it's clear because I haven't used it in so long. But I just want to be double, double sure that it's okay. Let's clear it out a little bit. Alrighty. All right, so let's check this out. Oh, oh, see, look, it's speaking. It's speaking. Okay, so the next 30 days, this is really the energy I want to pick up for the Pisces. Because we are gonna this Pisces is intense, guys. We're having Mars moving in into Virgo. Um I want to do a whole astrological spiel, but I can't. My, I just, it's kind of late, and it's. I'm just being called to do this reading, and I, it's like, the one good thing is Jupiter is direct in Libra, and it's going to exit the shadow part, so it'll be, that's one good thing, expanding our capacity to love in relationships, communicate with Virgo clarity, and move with Mars drive and ambition and desire I think there'll be a lot of sex going on this month for some reason some of us might get wah, bah, bah. okay um <laughs> I'm just saying I'm just saying okay let's see what we've got mm. the past the two of cups What's beneath us? What What's the lesson we've learned? Maiden of Pentacles. This is beautiful because in this deck we have masculine and feminine maidens. This is the Knight of Pentacles. It's been slow moving uh, quicksand energy. Processing of the emotions. Processing of, of ourselves. Very receptive. N nothing's really come into fruition. We've been thinking, thinking a lot. Now we're going to see where we're going to move forward, what we're going to do. And that's now, that's behind us. That's beneath us, okay? So wonderful energy because it's so, so true to what's happening and what's happened in the last couple months with, with the eclipse and with in July and July and August. Oh, man, were they crazy energies for me? Okay, um... Now let's see what the other energy, which is current energy for the next 30 days. Oh my God, this is amazing. So this deck has this beautiful card, the Soul Twins. Okay, um, along, so, so there's, oh God, help me. There's been a lot of thinking about the love of your life. The love of this love, this person. And they're so going to be on your brain, on your heart this month, okay? Um, on your brain with the Virgo energy, on your heart with the Mars energy, um, wanting to make this physical 3D connection into physicalness, physical, physicalness. And we've been hearing and hearing about this, and I've been so tired of hearing about it, but look what I got. I mean, I, I'm just being propelled to do this reading. They're coming. They're coming with a message. What cross is it? A message. 
Ooh, la la. What's what's the crowning energy? The Four of Swords. I've uh, this is a contemplation card. I used to call it my PTSD card, and I've changed it now into the recovery card. Recovery, recovery. Re it could also, um, since I have put it a definition to it for myself for my readings, the recovery card. It could be coming back to recover. That's that could be the message. This love that you feel for this partner. Um, and the message is coming back to recover, to recover, you know, and I've been he seeing the, the, the readings um, coming back home. This could be the recover, recovering your soul back to its, um, back to its, uh, yeah, just back. That's all I get. I'm not getting anything else back home yeah I I don't hear home but I just hear back recovery recovery okay the future eight of cups there will be some walking away those boots are made for walking and that's just what I'll do and one of these days one of these days in September walking away Keep walking. Okay, how my 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 Celtic cross is a little different. So this one is really how you feel about yourself. Okay, so <laughs> you feel like you're getting a second chance. The Phoenix rising. You're getting a second chance, and look at that fire. As if you know, Virgo's not in Mars. Yeah, it's like um passion i just i felt that passion right before i pulled these cards i just feel like there's a lot of passion going on people don't really associate virgo with a passionate energy but um if you're a person who lives by your truth and you happen to really embody that and and then um you fall in love from your heart you, and you know you're someone who's very particular very picky and when you finally meet that person, yeah, they'll be like a raging flame. They can be very passionate. So let's put that myth aside. And um, advice from the universe. Seven of wands. Seven being a spiritual number. Wands being fire energy. Now it's funny because we got a lot of earth on that first spread and now we're getting a I feel like it's a lot of fiery because I feel like this is flames then the seven of wands is fire. Um, we have the seven of wands. And you see how he's kind of fighting. Living by your spiritual truth is what I'm hearing. This is going to be the month of really and it's so great it's coming in on the month of Virgo and September really standing up for your beliefs and owning them owning them owning your beliefs saturn now is in sagittarius um people are, are really gonna try to walk their talk not easily done but they are going to attempt to be more authentic leo in the north node the outcome three of pentacles you are going to work hard work hard three communication connections um but it's about working working for what you want and really trying to achieve it and getting in tune with that energy so here we are going to um basically be working towards i think more than anything working towards that love that you know what we love and i like i had mentioned I think because we want to be self-sufficient and, you know, Virgos of this energy, I think it's this energy of the nine of, of pentacles where well, you need to be cool standing on your own. OK, she's an earth. She's an earth. Nine of pentacles or pentacles being earth. So um, that's what I got. That's what I got. I'm not going to read into more into it because it kind of stops there. And let's give you some 
guidance here. Uh, let's see, what am I being called? Oh, I think I'm being called to do Angela Hartfield. Beautiful Angela Hartfield. And um, I think I really do want to pick a soul card too. And a therapy card. I mean, an angel. An angel. Okay, let's, let's see. What do you got? Alrighty, being called to do three, and I'm going to do this these um, angel cards too. So hopefully this will resonate with some of you out there. Um, and this is just my reading that I don't normally do on um, the full moon, because I also wanted to touch upon some of the astrology and mainly tell you that the readings are going to be late. <laughs> Okay, that's a birthday present to myself. I don't want to put pressure on myself. I have so much pressure. These these energy, the eclipse has wiped me out in, in like, I still haven't really recovered. I feel like, I think today's the only final day. I've, I feel September 1st that I've recovered from feeling this fatigue, this amazing fatigue. So um, this weekend I am going to be working on getting your readings out. But I'm really not going to push myself because I'm just recovering from this amazing fatigue from the downloads of the eclipse. And it's my birthday month. I wasn't even going to do readings for you guys, but I was like, you know what? It's my birthday. I've been really kind of even thinking about should I even be doing this anymore? Because I don't do it for money or anything. And um, I really appreciate those who come to me. And I, I, I do it. I do this out of... Um, love okay it's an act of love it's not really money oriented for me i'm virgo so and i was going to give myself the birthday present that <laughs> don't do readings this month but uh, you know there's so many of you that are so kind and gracious and grateful that um and my following i just feel like you know that kind of would be maybe not cool <laughs> and then i'm thinking maybe i should do it after the six um, but then I'm like, I won't have the time and, and I'm worried that, so I'm going to try to blast them out as much as I can this weekend. And let's see what we have. Spend some quality time together. It is imperative that we spend quality time with those we are in significant relationships with listening and talking to each other. I think this is like, um, the retrograde energy that I feel like people come back into our lives or we really need to reconnect with the people that are in our lives, like reconnecting, you know, all the re's, um, refamiliarizing yourself. You know, that's that was those that's hardly ever touched upon. It's like all the re's, but those two words are not really um, reconnecting, re reharmonizing, um, reflecting, and doing it with the people that we find are our tribe group. Okay. Um, I think it's really important because once the energy starts moving forward again, I mean, it's really going to be, you know, fast, I feel. Okay. Next, we have the only thing that is real is love. Shift your focus from the problem back to love. Yeah, that's a wonderful advice. Thank you, Spirit, because... Um, we all we're just worried about our problems so much but we have to be grateful for what we have for who we have for the growth that we've experienced for where we are um whether you're with you know your your partner or not um just waking up every day and being able to do your thing whatever your thing is uh is is really a gift so let's re remind ourselves of that romance yeah what's sex without romance absolutely nothing lavish the one that you love with your personal attention and affection beautiful so this is some wonderful chemistry i feel like there's some chemistry happening and um i feel like it's in the hearts of so many that really want to rekindle that chem chemistry that they had at, at one point and it's been gone in maybe some of their relationship in, in the in the karmic union but um those who are not in 3d union um this is what they really desire and this is what their mental 
energy is calling for and they're calling it to them and it's sim it's all these colors are very similar kind of neutral kind of staying balanced kind of not weaving too much into that anger side or that you know uh, victim side but really just in appreciation and even keel okay music music's gonna make you happy music's gonna bring in your mate like think about it like i i was i would i was getting this card a lot and i would put it back in going oh please music give me a break but then i realized i really am a huge music lover i have a huge music list and i never have time to really assemble my music and um i've been pretty darn lazy about it mainly because it's in retrograde and a lot of it is in digital and I don't want to lose it because retrograde energy might cause some kind of weird thing to happen. So I have, but I mean, I really realized that when I go back to my music, um, like I went back to, to one of my old MP3s and I just was like, wow, I forgot about this song. Uh, you know, and it, it kind of rehashed the memories of somebody but I realized, you know, now it's a new day, it's a new place, and, and now, you know, it's like a re, <laughs> again, with the re, it's like a re, um, not rewind, but it's more like a review of, with less pain, shall we say. Yeah, I don't know, I can't really explain it, but music's really healing. Power, let's own our power, let's own our power. Um, we've healed from the past a lot and we've grown a lot from this journey and um, it's green we've, we have to we're new people we're not the same people we're different and from when we went on this journey and so let's own that power and really live in um, in that power own it self-acceptance yes definitely self-acceptance self-acceptance will bring love won't it um, there we go this is a beautiful, beautiful energy. Um, learning to love your inner child, okay? And I feel like I've had a lot of crack, crackings, cracklings of, um, I mean, I've always loved my inner child, but I've kind of come to a place where uh, I know my inner child a lot more. I understand my inner child. I understand the needs that it has, that she has, that she wants. And, um, and the lack of some certain things that were missing in previous um, incarnations. So self-acceptance also brings authenticity, okay? Be, be honest with yourself. One really amazing trait that Virgo has is they're honest, but they're brutally honest with themselves too. So that's why they can't take criticism very well because they kind of know already a lot of stuff within themselves. But, um, oh, I love it. Yes, I love ending with this. Imagination. I embrace and nourish the creative aspect of my mind. Those of you who want to write, um, please, this is a great, great time for writing energy because we're so cerebral in Virgo and um, it pushes you with the Mars energy. So you can have the, you can, um, if you've been feeling fatigued like I have, I think this, this is going to be the month where you can finally put pen to paper and get these things written down and get it off, off your chest, get it off, um, off your radar and get that baby published, get, get going on this thing that you've been wanting to do for a long time. And yes, Pisces is about imagination. Imagine a better world. Imagine everything that you want. Imagine the love, bring it to you because, that is our escape route this is what this is really the recipe to our escape route right now okay that's what it's saying Woo! thank you thank you spirit and thank you all for watching and thank you for understanding that i need to give myself and honor myself um the gift of time <laughs> and nourishment that's my gift to me okay um yeah. So God bless. Take care. I bid you adieu. Have a wonderful, wonderful month of September. Bye-bye.